Good evening. Here's the world news from BGI TV, Baba Bagede Imo TV. I am Moriwe Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the world news. Arango Shola reacts as Oyotola loses or show governorship election. Or your assembly approves nomination of Bayo Lawal as new deputy governor. Arrest bandit Kingpin is stored as Sarkin Fudami Yendoto PDP chieftains to Zamfara government. Bandit Tubanin dissolved Yendoto Emirates, SAC Commissioner for Internal Security, activist to Governor Matawali. Wari Monarch dies after two years on throne. Nollywood actress Ada Ame, who battled mental health issues, after losing only child dies at 48 and still on entertainment gist. Portable declares he founded Lagos Gangs, One Million Boys are Jar Boys. And foreign story. Ukraine's President Zelensky sacks security chief, top prosecutor, and finally sports. We will work hard to make us cement better strikers, Spalletti. The news in detail. Nigeria's Minister of Interior has reacted to the result of the Osho State Governorship election. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on Sunday declared Ademola Adeleke, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, winner of the Osho State Governorship election. Adeleke defeated Boyega Itola, the incumbent governor and candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, at the polls held on Saturday. The PDP candidate won 17 of the 30 local government areas LGAs in the Osho State Governorship election. APC candidate Oyetola won in the remaining 13 LGAs, according to results announced by ENEC on Sunday morning. In total, Oyetola of the APC polled 375,027 votes, while Adeleke of the PDP claimed 403,371 votes. Adeleke, a former senator and younger brother to the state's first governor, Isiaka Adeleke, defeated Oyetola by a margin of about 42,426 votes. Other candidates that took part in the election included Aki Ogubi of the Accord Party, Goke Omibodun of the Social Democratic Party, and the former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Lasson Yusu, who contested under the platform of Labour Party. From Osho State, we move straight to the issue between the governor, first citizen, and the second citizen, who happens to be the former deputy governor. And now there is a new governor choosing his own new deputy governor, per se, from the Oyo State House of Assembly. The Oyo State House of Assembly has approved the nomination of Barrister Bayo Lawal as the new deputy governor of the state. Daily Post report that approval is coming a few hours after the assembly removed the Raouf. Olanio. The House as on Monday removed Olanio, a native of Ibo, from office following the recommendation of a panel of inquiry set up to investigate him. Our correspondent, however, report that the Assembly has approved the nomination of Lawal. The name of the new deputy governor was sent to the House by Governor Shei Makinde. The lawmakers approved the nomination of Lawal during the plenary in Lebadon. The majority leader, Sonjo Aridui, said that the nomination was in order. Kazim Olayonju, who also spoke, supported the nomination. Correspondent report that the state secretariat, which houses the House of Assembly, has been under heavy security presence. A daily post correspondent who visited the House of Assembly and some strategic locations in the secretariat observed that security agents among whom are police, Department of State Services, Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps officials and soldiers have been stationed at strategic locations to forestall any form of security breach. From that story, we go to insecurity. A former military administrator and now PDP, People's Democratic Party chieftain in Kagarko local government area of Kaduna State, Major General Ishako Usman retired on Monday called on Zamfara State Governor Bello Mohamed Matawali to arrest and prosecute the bandit kingpin Ado Alero installed at certain food and in the states. 
General Usman said the immediate suspension of Emir of Brindin Yendoto in Safi, local government area Ali Ugarba Marafa, is not enough to serve as a deterrent to criminals operating in Zamfara State, but the arrest of the real culprit and punishment for his crimes. The Emir of Brindin Yendoto in Safi, local government area Ali Ugarba Marafa, and on Saturday conferred a chieftaincy title on the notorious bandit kingpin Ado Aliru as a way to stop the incessant attacks on the community by bandits. However, the installation led to a public outcry after which Matawali ordered the immediate suspension of the Emir. Reacting on Monday, General Usman noted that inasmuch as the Emir was suspended, the bandit kingpin must equally be arrested, detained and face the law. According to him, by so doing, the whole world would know that the state government was not instrumental in the installation. A foremost Urobo monarch is Royal Majesty Sir Emmanuel or Kumaga JP or Kumaga II, the Orusue of Okere Urobo Wari Kingdom in the Wari South local government area of Delta State has joined his ancestors after two years on throne. The demise of Okumaga II was made known on Sunday, July 17, 2022, by the Otata of Okere, Urobo Kingdom, Wari Chief Gold Eburu, a retired brigadier general at a press briefing at the Orosua Palace. Chief Gold Eburu stated that His Majesty Okumaga II had traveled to join his ancestors. Details for the burial shortly may be. So entertainment story, the Zazuze Kruna, Nigerian artist Abib of Ikeola Portable, has made an explosive admission. The controversial singer announced that he founded the notorious gangs in Lagos. Portable made the comment while boasting that he was not scared of anyone. In a trending video, he said, Open your ears and be listening. Have you heard of Aja Boys, One Million Boys? I established them. I had it that the socialites Sam Larry Alexu and Abu Abel knew him back in the day. Ajaboy's one million boys are known for their violent atrocity across the state. The police at different times arrested a number of members while some were declared wanted. In late June, Portable reported himself at the Ogun State Police Command headquarters in Elewero Abel Kuta. This Azul Kruna was invited for sorting a young man known as DJ Chicken in a viral video. Still on entertainment. Popular Nollywood actress Ada Ame, who recently opened up about her mental health battles after losing her only child, Alz died. According to a source on Monday morning, July 18, 2022, who pleaded anonymity, she died in Bori Delta State around 11 p.m. on Sunday. Ame was said to have been a guest of an oil company toy shop at his family when she suddenly collapsed. It was gathered that she was washed to the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation's hospital but passed on before they arrived at the facility. Several movie stars are said to have been trooping the facility on Monday morning to see her remains. Born on May 15, 1974 in Ajegule, Lagos, the popular actress shared a video of her eating with the family around 12.53 p.m. on Sunday on her official Instagram page. Adieu to the actress. From that story, we'll go straight to foreign story. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky has sacked his chief prosecutor, General Ayanan Venedikovla, and the head of the country's security agent, Ivan Bakunov, on Sunday. Their sack was the largest government shakeup since the commencement of Russia's invasion in February. According to Economic Times, Zelensky said he fired Venedikovla. Tova and Bakunov, as the war landing country faces a high number of cases of suspected treason by Ukrainian law enforcement officials. Today, I made a decision of relieving all the duties, the prosecutor general and the head of Ukraine's security service, Zelensky said in his daily address to the nation. Zelensky said over 650 cases of suspected treason and aiding and abetting Russia by Ukrainian security officials are currently being investigated, including 60 cases of officials who have remained in terrorists occupied by Russia and are now working against Ukraine. Such a great number of crimes against the foundation of national security and the connections established between Ukrainian law enforcement officials 
and the Russia Special Services posed very serious questions to the relevant leaders, Zelensky concluded. And finally, sports story. Napoli manager Luciano Spalletti says he will strive to make Victor Osime a better player. Spalletti took charge at the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium last summer and has enjoyed a smooth working relationship with Osime. The Nigerian international scored 14 goals in 21 league, 27 league appearances for the Petinopi during the 2021-2022 season campaign. Osime made his second preseason appearance for the Petinopi in a 4-1 win against Perugia on Sunday. Much will be expected from the striker next season, and Spalletti is keen to help Ostime fulfill his potential. Victor has to find the best condition, but we know what his great potential is, and we will go to work on his qualities not yet expressed, Spalletti told the press conference. Napoli will face Adena Davis Paul, Maloka, Girona, and Espanyol in friendlies before their Serie A opener against Verona on August 15. Before we call it to wrap on the world news from BGI TV, a quick recap of the headlines once again. Arab Bashola react as Oyetola loses offshore governorship election. Or your assembly approves nomination of Bayo Lawal as new deputy governor. And on a sad note from the entertainment G's, Nollywood actress Ada Ahmed who battled mental health issue after losing only child dies at 48. And finally, sports. We will work hard to make Osime better strikers, Paletti. For more updates on our YouTube channel, the handle is Baba Bagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell, select option all, to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alam here and the bio. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services, coverage of events and function, Please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Mori Rebila Lawa. Good evening. Oh, na, 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 na. If you want to know what's going on in city, uh, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist, no stress, oh, just listen to BGI TV. BGI TV. Yeah, I want in the media.